second inverter arrived today. It's the second 6000 XP, so I got two in parallel now. And uh, it's just temporarily wired up. I'm waiting for, waiting for wires, breakers, and some other components to show up before I can make it a little more permanent. So I'll throw up some uh, video of the audio, the fan speeds at 50% load. And then um, just realize I'm in a small cubicle. The sound isn't it? The microphone picks up the sound pretty good. I got a um, 10 gauge. Uh, I didn't even have a third, so I had to take the neutral, run a second line. So I got the uh, the 240 neutral ground running down to this panel. Yes, don't touch it. Um, I'm using some mini breakers. So. You can see this one's on. Obviously, everything's powered down just to make you feel better. So we got right, left, left, right. So you see how that works. Right leg or right lug, left side, right side. So that's specifically why I wired the breaker or labeled the breaker red, red. So I'm landing the two reds and then the two blacks. And uh, this is just an outlet. Actually, here I'll show you. This is just going to a 50 amp. And then uh, coming up here, black left, red right. I usually try to keep black on the left, red on the right. Notice the theme. Black left, red right. Right, le right red, left black. All right. So they both come out, they come over, one goes back there, the other one comes over here. Uh, one neat thing, the RSD button does work for both inverters, so one button will communicate with both. Here I have the two, just a standard, I think it's even listed as a patch cable. See if we can get that to work. We cannot. Cat 5B cable. There you go. So I got left side comes out. Comes down. Swirls around. And comes back out. So left to right. Then this side is left to right. Since this is the first and the last inverter, those dip switches are both up. So if this was to be a second inverter, this would be down. Then if this would be the third inverter, this would be down. Then this being the fourth inverter, aka the last inverter, and they would be up. And there's a wiring diagram in the uh, user manual that shows that, explains it. Other than that, I'm just going to throw some screenshots from Solar Assistant at the very end. Uh, the max load I got on this was, I pulled today was about 190 DC amps. And that's total between both sets. So 190, so this is say 90 amps per inverter, uh, which that's about 40 amps AC. So I did see a surge amperage when I was watching it one time at 27 amps. AC there. Other than that, I'm going to have to figure out a, a larger load that I can put on in order to test it higher. The most I could get was I managed to get 80% on one leg and then 60% on the other. So I'm still short. About 1,000, 2,000 on the two legs.